Mensa Fina Party presidential aspirant Jimmy Wanjigi now says that he will not join Deputy President William Ruto's Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance ahead of the August 9th polls. While addressing a rally in Kuala County on Sunday, the businessman stated that he opted to go solo, terming Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio La Umoja won Kenya coalition parties as tribal outfits. Wanjigi made the remarks after a section of Kenyans on social media questioned his absence during the official unveiling of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance on the 12th of April. Kennedy Kimani tells us more. After a section of Kenyans on social media questioned the absence of Safina Party's presidential aspirant Jimmy Wanjigi, during the launch of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, Wanjigi while addressing a rally in Kuala has made it clear that Safina Party has rejected all offers to join any coalitions. Given his reason, Wanjigi labeled Kenya Kwanzaa and Azimio La Umoja as tribal outfits made for selfish leaders, stating that his journey to state house under the Safina Party is unstoppable. Safari yangu, eh, safari ya Safina, ni mpaka mwisho. Hakuna kurudi nyuma. Tunaendelea mpaka debe. Coalition ambao tunaform ni direct na wananchi wa Kenya. Si coalitions za ukabila sijui za vieo sijui wanakate wana keki huku juu hapana sisi tunakatia keki wananchi wa Kenya direct Wanjigi has however discredited deputy president William Ruto over his manifesto saying he is deceiving Kenyans as he is not a true hustler and his agenda for Kenya is not realistic the businessman has also hit out at President Uru Kenyatta, alleging that he is borrowing every month to meet the budget deficit. Juzi, muliona, muliona, wazi wazi, agreement ya azimio. Iyo agreement ya azimio party, inyaonyesha rais Uru Kenyatta, diyo mkubwa wa huo mlengo wa azimio party. Rais Uhuru Kenyatta ambao kisheria kikatiba lazima astafu August 9th mwaka huu Wanjigi was expected to join Kenya Kwanza after hitting at a possible alliance during the UDA delegates convention on the 15th of March at Kasarani Kennedy Kimani Hope TV Newswatch